Okay, hey guys, what's up? Today we have a big unboxing from the cubicle that you asked. And there's a three by three in here that might be my main, but I have the um friendly friendly. Hi. It's my cute dog friendly. Friendly, I'm making a thank you. Friendly. Mom, can you call Friendly over? Friendly, can you please get out of the way? Sorry guys. Friendly, can you please get out of the way? Thank you. Friendly. Go, Friendly. Okay, good. So yeah, I have the I have the game 356 Air U N as my main C cube because it's really fast and there's a cube in here that I'm excited for. So let's get this open. Okay guys. So in here we have Alright guys, we have the um Cuban Classroom non cubic gift box. The Cuban Classroom non cubic gift box. We have this which I'm really excited for, the GIN 249V2M. We have the Chi 2x2x3. We have two cubicle labs cube. I'll get to those for the end. Have this. And then we also have this, which I'm really excited for. Okay, that's it. Let's start with this. Let's move off to the site and start with the Mosey 1x1x2. One by one by so I basically got this because, you know, in school, the, um, my other, and then, of course, a cubicle business card. The other cubes that I have in my collection are sometimes way too loud and that it, it can get distracting for me. So I basically got one of these, so this is like something I can just trade it around with in school. So yeah, we'll try. I got it in transparent blue right now, please. Turns really nice, corner cuts as well. I'll do this all. Done. Yeah, it's just a little like one that you can just like turn around as a Cuban school and then it will dissolve. Next up, you have the Chi 2x2x3. This is a, I don't have that many cuboids. All I have is a Calvin 3x3x5. So now I have more. Alright. So. Now let's, um, this open. I'm really excited for this. Alright. Let's just do some first turns. Whoa, that's... I feel like I can speed cube that. I think I know how to solve it, but... Corner cuts. This is like a speed cube, boy. Let's go ahead and scramble it. I know we're at the tutorial. This is not a shape-shifting cuboid. So, yeah. Scramble how it looks. So, what you want to do is you want to get the two white. Until the two white sides are solved, then you need to solve the um, layer, and then yeah, that's basically all I know so far, but then I'll look up a tutorial, and yeah, a really fun, easy little, um, slidey puzzle, the, um, the, um, 2x2, two two, um, 2x2x3, two two alright, up next, let's get on with the GAN 249, version 2M, so I got the magnetic version because I... I've never had a magnetic 2x2 before, and this is Gans 2x2, so this is the second version of it, and yeah, yeah, so it's basically, so it's a 2x2 with magnets in it, so I never, I don't have that many Gans puzzles, like the only one that I have is actually this, so this will be another Gans puzzle in the kitchen. 
Alright, let's try it again. It's dry. And it has a bumpy feeling. It, it's like any other 2x2s two two I've never felt. It's not even like bumpy as you turn it. And it's dry, but you can definitely feel the click of the magnets. I think the magnets are a little bit too strong for me, but I like them. Let's do, let's go ahead and do a solve. Hmm. I'm not good at 2x2, two two, guys. And I don't think I'm going to use this as my main 2x2. Two two. I have another 2x2 two two in here, well, two of them. Okay, well that's that. Next, let's get to this. So basically, it's a, a set of 2x2 through 5x5. So what you're basically getting in here is the MF2S, the MF3RS, the MF4S, and the MF5. I've heard some of these are, these are just, Mofin Giyoshi's like, for, if you're on like a budget or something, and you just need some speed tube, that's what, um, that's what um, Cuban Classroom came in. It's a sub brand of Moyu. So, yeah. So, I'll have to take off this and take off the tube. So, let's start with the 2x2. So, I've ha I have an MF2, but I don't have an MF2S. So, this is. Oh my gosh, this is actually. It's new. It needs to be lube. Corner cutting. It's actually a really good, if you're a beginner to IT solver, I recommend getting this. Because I think normally it's like $5, and speed is like, really good on it. Yeah, definitely for a beginner, get that. Alright, I, I used to have an MF3S, but I can't find it. This feels way different than... Then my other one. My other one felt smooth. Honestly. And this one feels a little dry. And then other than that, it's a really, really good cumin. That's one of the best budget cube under six under five dollars in the market. Now here we get to the big cube, which I don't solve. The MF4S. Okay, this puzzle is slow. And it's catchy. I think there's a better... Better budget for before than this. It's called the YJ Guansu. So the outer layers are just like slow and catchy and the inner layers are so slow. I don't solve 4x4 so it doesn't mean anything to me but I know there's better budget 4x4s on this. So I don't recommend this unless you just want it for your collection and as a like a real like a starting 4x4. Now we get on to the MF5 which is so like it's tight but I don't usually care about Tensions and it doesn't turn good. Probably just from being out in the cold. Probably just from being out in the cold, but it does not turn good. There's some probably lubricate lubrication. It should be better. And it's also a beginner five by five. Now we get on to the cubing question. Nine cubic distance. So this is basically all the side WC events. Oh my gosh, there's so many pamphlets. So it's basically um square one, pyraminx, megaminx, and skew. Is what in is what is in here. So yeah, we're gonna check that out.
so yeah. Take off the top piece of plastic, of course. And then yeah. Let's do the guy with the pyramid. So it does have all your in there, so let's turn. Definitely not a higher entry level pyramid. Tips are like Shane Shao tips. And then these just need some lube. Other than that, it's a really good budget pyramid. It's one of the best budget pyramids on the market, if not the best budget pyramids on the market, in my opinion. So that's basically it. Let's get on with the skew. The skew, it's dry. And the turning is open. Okay, it's definitely dry. You can definitely realize that. And yeah, that's basically it. Alright, let's get on with the Mega Minx. So it's a convex Mega Minx. So it doesn't have the best grip. Let's check. It's smooth, but it's slow. And it doesn't have grip. I can tell that right off the bat. It's like a beginner. So if you're a beginner getting into Mega Minx, I recommend the Steaming Classroom Eveth Mega Minx. And yeah, basically get off with my favorite one out of here. Bye, Event Square One. Let's try the first turn. Alright, I can definitely tell. It's a budget square one. Because it doesn't turn that good. And yeah, it turns pretty good for budget square one. I don't saw square one, so... It's fast. And it's also like smooth. I don't. Yeah, it's a really good. It corners up, so it's a good skew. Now we'll get on to this. It comes in a cubicle that US bag, which is nice. This is a cubicle premium Moyu Pyramid. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. But this is a cubicle premium Moyu Pyraminx. I'm expecting this to come my main over the um, MF Pyraminx now because it's better than my Z branded Pyraminx. I don't even think there's ball bearings in it, but. Yep, there's ball bearings in there. Whoa, this is... Oh my gosh, this pyramid is like slippery. Because there's so much lube because it's a cute premium cute. It's gummy right now. Because of the lube, but it is my new main pyramid. It's, it's a ball bearing with pyramid. That's okay, but it's a really, 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 really good cube. It's my new main pyramid, so I'll keep the cubicle premium, and I have two cubicle labs. Alright, this is the, um, the, um, cubicle labs Goguan Jinghen M. So, cubicle labs makes magnetic cube, and I get some, and I...